Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to accept Bitcoin payments or Bitcoin cash payments on your WordPress or WooCommerce website. For this, I'm going to use Blockonomics service. And I'm also going to show you how to set up everything and prepare your website to accept Bitcoin payments. So Blockonomics helps you to track and accept Bitcoin payments worldwide, of course. Um, it is very easy to use and it's also pretty easy and not expensive to do. They take very little fees for that. So as the website says, you can accept the Bitcoin payments in your e-commerce store. You don't need to uh, send your information. You don't need to send your passport. No information needed from your stand of view. Just your email address and password to register on the site and you can directly start with accepting Bitcoin. You can also create and send Bitcoin invoices from their dashboard. That's also very easy to do. You have also ability to track your statistics and payment history and balance history and so on. You can see all your transactions. You get email notifications if the transaction is made and so on. Um, the team behind this is also very responsive. They have a live chat. So if you have any issues, you can directly contact them and they will help you. They have also a little roadmap. So if you're interested in that, you can also read more about it on their website. So let's get started. Go to your VP admin go to the plugins and we are going to install their plugin which is called Blockonomix and you can choose the first option they have also a plugin for digital downloads if you want to see a tutorial for that let me know in the comments so i'm going to install it okay and click activate Perfect. Congrats. You are now accepting Bitcoin payments. You can configure Blockonomics on this page. So click that. Now we need to connect the plugin with Blockonomics website. So first thing is to create an, an account. So you will find a link in the description to create the account. So you can create account and then you can log in. And once you are logged in, you can click on this link. Okay, let's move this a bit to the right. And you will get to this page, Merchants. And now you can click on the stores. And here is your API key. Just click on that and you will get a notification that is copied to your clipboard. Go back to your website and enter it here. Okay, then we have some more settings so just click advanced settings uh, what i like to change always is that time period of countdown timer on payment page in minutes to 30 so if someone makes a bitcoin payment a user have 30 minutes to make the payment and 10 minutes i think is not much then you can uh, set up some uh, extra currency rate merging under payment slack if you want it's optional also if you have some issues displaying the payment page on the checkout then you can select this option also this option too so if the checkout doesn't work with the blockonomics try to play with these two options okay and then network confirmation required for payment to complete leave it to two for the best security okay that's fine now perfect let's click save okay now go back to the blockonomics and click add new store now we need to set up our bitcoin wallet where all the money will go and where all the bitcoin addresses will generate from so open your 
Bitcoin wallet. It can be anything that supports XPUB. XPUB is like a long, long string with different numbers and letters that represents your wallet, which the website can generate Bitcoin addresses. Okay, so open your Bitcoin wallet. I have a tutorial how to use and create a Bitcoin wallet using Electrum. I will leave uh, the link to this tutorial and I recommend first taking a look how to make this work so you can continue using this uh, wallet for your business. So now we need to get the XPUB. So go to the wallet information and this is master public key. This thing we need to copy, enter in the XPUB tag we can give the name tutorial so the tag is the basically a website name or you can use anything else http callback url is this one so just double click on it and click copy enter save changes perfect we got the website now go back to your website go to the currencies click test setup Success. Uh, congratulations, your website is successfully connected to the Blockonomics and now you can accept Bitcoin payments. So go to the WooCommerce settings, payments, and Bitcoin is already selected. We can click manage and you can change the title and add the description. There are no more options. Okay, and we, if we go back to the checkout, I click refresh the page, we will see Bitcoin. And now I'm going to click pay with Bitcoin. Oh, let me enter a street address. So it's a test website, so it doesn't matter what the billing details are. And click pay with Bitcoin. Okay. And now the Bitcoin address was automatically generated. And every transaction, you will see a successful transaction, you will see a new Bitcoin address. So it's very good for the security and so on. And now the client can send Bitcoins to this address. And this is the amount he needs to send to. And once the amount have been sent to this address, it will automatically show that Bitcoins have been received. The payment is completed. Perfect. And that's it. And now we don't need this. We have some extra options uh, on the Blockonomics website. So we can create a payment buttons for yeah for for products and so on. Then we have locks, test benches, and so on. Payment and also first twenty transactions are free, so you don't have to pay anything. But later on, they will take a 1% and also a small percentage from your balance. So you need to refill this to continue using their service. Okay, then we can go to the Wallet Watcher. And here we will see all the information. So here we will see how many Bitcoins have, have we received. Also how many addresses there were generated. And we see how much the one Bitcoin is. Then we have address watcher. This is our website. You can see the balance. You can see the history, pending transactions. Then you can like you can generate the address and receive. Then you have some extra settings. If you want to change the currency, you can do that and so on. So that's it. So thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, let me know down in the comments and Bye-bye.